What's up you guys? It's Pokegirl7 here and today is December Community Day in Pokemon Go. So today we have a bunch of wild spawns, raids, and egg hatches for past Community Day Pokemon and it's actually going to be a two day event. So today is the first day and we also have another day tomorrow and this is going to be one of the biggest events of the year. So of course the shiny rates are increased for all of these spawns right now and I guess for the raids and the eggs too so i'm really excited to get the day started and do some shiny hunting it's going to be huge and guys i'm actually doing a shiny challenge with t slayers as well we're going to see who can get more shinies on community day so today is my day i'm playing from it okay i actually need to show you guys the time um i'm playing from 208 p.m right now and i'm going to play until 9 p.m tonight it's going to be a seven hour window and me and T Slayers are gonna see uh, who can get more shinies during that window. So we're gonna see who gets more shinies today. I thought it'd be fun to spice it up and do a little bit of a shiny challenge. So the first thing we're gonna do today is this Eevee raid. Eevee is a raid boss during this event and I really wanna try to get a shiny Eevee again. I have a ton from Eevee Community Day, but I just wanna see another one in the game. That's really the case with all of the shinies during this event. I don't need any of them because I always play every Community Day but it's still going to be fun to see some new shinies for the first time in a while and also this event is amazing for players who missed out on past community day events whether you're new or you just didn't get to play so this event's going to be amazing so we're going to do this ev raid first and we're actually in the car right now guys it's pretty cold out today um i'm going to be hopping in and out of the car a lot in today's video probably going to walk around to try to get some of the spawns and then i'm going to ride around in the car a little bit too uh yeah that's pretty much the plan today but let's do this raid and see if we get a shiny. Okay guys, so we completed the Eevee raid. Now let's do an Eevee shiny check. And no shiny on that one. I'm pretty sure that the shiny rates are increased for raid bosses too. And probably egg hatches as well. I can't even 100% confirm this, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. So I am going to do some raids today because I really want to get a shiny raid boss. I feel like it's a little bit more satisfying. So that's one goal today. So, and I guess another goal, uh, I want to get another shiny Swinub because I didn't really get to play Swinub Community Day that much. On that day, I actually went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and the signal was really bad. I barely caught any. So I guess that's another goal today is to get a shiny Swinub as well. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, I guess now we're gonna go around and try to get some shiny spawns. We're gonna hop out of the car real quick and maybe go through some lures and see what we can find. Okay, so we're actually on our way over to find a parking spot to leave our car so we can get the shiny hunt started. And I'm actually gonna shiny hunt while we're driving through here because there's plenty of spawns to check. So we might get our first shiny of the event here in the car. And guys, I've actually noticed there's a bunch of Terrakion raids right now. I don't know if that's just a weird coincidence or what, but there's three in a row right there. Ooh, and we have a swine up shiny check. No shiny on that one, like I said. I really wanna get one of those today. And I didn't check one of these Chimchar. I don't remember which one it was. I'm just gonna do a double check just to make sure. And no shiny on those. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. I stopped recording literally two seconds after I checked on a Ralts and it was shiny. Wow. We got our first shiny of the event already. Seriously, as soon as I stopped recording. For some reason, I just thought I don't need to record anymore. And of course that's what happened. Oh my God. <laughs> We got our first shiny of the event, and it's a really good one, too. Man, if it's a male, that's going to be really cool, because I actually wanted another uh, shiny Gallade. So, oh my gosh, and we have this exclusive move during Community Day today, so I can actually get the Synchronoise move on this shiny Ralts. That's going to be amazing. And I just remembered, I actually caught a, a full-odd shiny Ralts recently, so randomly, and now I can evolve that for Synchronoise today if I want to do that. Oh, that's going to be so cool. I just thought of it. So, okay, it had one star, and it is a male. So this could be a new shiny Gallade. Oh, my goodness. First shiny of the day, ladies and gentlemen. That's amazing. Okay, so now there's a bunch of Community Day spawns here. Let's check the swine up first. No shiny on that. This is amazing, guys. I literally just started. I started filming at 2.08, right, at that EV raid. It's 2.16 now. I've hardly done any wild shiny hunting, and we've already got our first shiny. So... We've got one so far, we're doing pretty good. I want to beat T Slayers in this shiny challenge today, so hopefully we get a bunch of shinies today. So, oh, and that mud kip ran away, no. Anyways, I needed to make room to check this one. And no shiny on that, but guys, one shiny already. We're doing so good. Okay guys, so we made it out here onto the streets and we have a Bagon shiny check. 
No shiny on that one. That's another one I would like to get another shiny of just because it's sort of a rare shiny outside of community day. And I felt the same way about Ralts. So it's really cool I got one of those already. And let's check this slack off. And no shiny on that. And this is not a community day spawn, but we have an Onyx shiny chick. No shiny on that one. So guys, I actually wanted to mention that there is some special research for community day, which I thought was really cool because I did not know about this. I don't know if they've announced this and I just didn't notice it or something, but it says celebrate 2019 and it says to catch 19 Pokemon. And I think it's just one step. That's all we have to do. And we get 20 Ultra Balls, a Univasone, and nine Rare Candies. So I thought that was really cool of them to do that. This is going to be really helpful to people who don't have a Univastone yet. A few moments later. So we are back in the car already, guys. It's like 40 degrees outside right now. It's pretty cold. I had to put on my sweatshirt too. And there's actually a Squirtle raid here anyways. So we're going to try to get a shiny Squirtle from a raid. This is actually a 2018 Community Day Pokemon. So it's been a long time since I've gotten a shiny Squirtle. I don't think I've ever gotten one randomly full odds in the wild. So it would be cool to see another shiny Squirtle. Okay, and now it's time to do a Squirtle shiny check. And no shiny on that one. That's a really hard shiny to tell the difference in, but it's actually just more of a pale blue, but that one's not shiny. Okay, so now we actually have a Pikachu raid and a Bulbasaur raid. And guys, I was just thinking with this Pikachu, it has been almost two years since we started having Community Day in Pokemon Go. So Pikachu was actually the first ever Community Day, and that was January 2018, and it's almost January 2020. So it's so crazy it's been that long. We've been enjoying Community Day for two years now, which is amazing. So I'm actually gonna do this Pikachu raid and see if I can get a shiny. I think it's been since Pikachu Community Day that I got a shiny. So it's been almost two years. It's pretty rare to see a Pikachu. Uh, actually, I'm thinking about it, guys. I've gotten shiny Pikachus with the hats and stuff, but it's been two years since I've gotten a regular Pikachu because it doesn't spawn a lot. So let's do this Pikachu raid and see if we can get lucky for the two year anniversary. Okay, and now it's time to do a Pikachu shiny check. And no shiny on that one. I really think it would be so cool to get a shiny Pikachu without a hat because it's been so long. So if I see any other Pikachu raids today, I'm gonna do those. And we just did the Bulbasaur raid, guys. And I actually wanna say, I have some sort of weird shiny Bulbasaur curse. I call it a curse because I always get random shiny Bulbasaurs whenever I'm hunting for something else. It's happened at least three times, so I guess that sounds like it's not a lot, but to me it feels like a lot. I actually named my last shiny Bulbasaur Cursed just because I feel like it always ruins my shiny hunts. It's so crazy. So I don't really want another shiny Bulbasaur, but I feel like this is going to be shiny just because of that reason. So let's do a shiny check. Okay, and no shiny on that one, but guys, I'm telling you, I'm probably going to end up getting a shiny Bulbasaur today in this video. I don't know what it is, but it seems like everyone has the, those few shinies that they seem to get a ton of, and then a few shinies that, that they just can't seem to catch, and Bulbasaur is the one that I just get a bunch of, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get one today. I'm just feeling like that's going to happen. And we have a swine up shiny check, and no shiny on that. So guys, we're actually going to drive through some lures again and see if we can get a shiny through here. And while I'm doing this shiny checking, guys, I wanted to ask you guys to go follow me on Twitch. So I've actually been doing some live streams over on Twitch for the past week or so, and it's been really fun. And we've actually already gotten 500 followers over there, and it's been amazing. I've had such a good time doing that, and I really want to start live streaming on there more. If you like Pokemon Sword and Shield and you want to watch me shiny hunt, go follow me on Twitch, guys. I would really appreciate it. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out. I'm probably going to say that in like every video for the next month or so just to get you guys to go follow me over there because it's been really fun to live stream and I want to keep doing it. So thank you to everyone who has followed me so far. The support's been amazing and I'm actually about to become a Twitch affiliate too which is really cool. So it's all just working out way faster than I thought it was going to and I'm really grateful for that. Guys, I just got a shiny Chimchar. Of course I wasn't filming it. I was contemplating on filming in the area we just drove through and I didn't film it. I wish I would have but guys, we got a shiny Chimchar. Yay, too shiny. 
not even an hour in so I will definitely take that there we have it shiny number two so Chimchar community day was actually the most recent but it's still really cool to see it back in the game for some reason it's a beautiful shiny and I could take some more honestly anyways I only got three on Chimchar community day because I, I was kind of slacking on that day because that's it was the day after Pokemon Sword and Shield came out and I was kind of like concentrated on playing those games so I didn't really get a lot of shiny chim charts so there we have it my fourth one I'll definitely take it and I could get another one with an exclusive move too so I might evolve this one later okay and we have a Ralts shiny check no shiny on that one that's actually just like the second Ralts I've seen today I'm pretty sure the first one I saw was that shiny one so that was really cool but now guys I feel like I should just keep recording no matter what I do because I know I'm gonna get it shiny if I stop recording <laughs> why is it like that every time I don't like to just talk your heads off and film so much I know that's why you're here anyways but like it's really hard to just keep on filming but dude I get so many shinies when I'm not filming this happens all the time at, at home too like I get uh, shinies when I'm not filming anything when I'm just sitting around at home on the couch it's so crazy I never get shinies on camera anymore but I'm gonna do my best to film most of my shiny checks today but this video is gonna be so long but anyways guys we're actually gonna go over to a Beldum raid I'm gonna try to get a shiny Beldum that would be pretty cool to get another one of those and uh, and we have a Mudkip shiny check no shiny on that one Ooh, and we have a double Bagon shiny check. I would love to get another shiny Bagon because that is normally a really rare spawn. I'm probably not ever going to get a random shiny Bagon. Like, the odds are pretty low for that. So, that's another goal for today. Would love to get one of those. I'm pretty sure I said that earlier in the video, though. I'm repeating myself. And we have a Swine Up shiny check. No shiny on that one. And let's get this Totodile and no shiny. Okay, and now we're at the Beldum raid. So, we're going to do that really quick. But we have a few shiny checks here. No shiny on the swine up. We have another Ralt shiny check. No shiny on that one. Okay, what else? And we have a Turtwig. No shiny. So now let's do that Beldum raid and see if we get a shiny Beldum. And now it's time for a Beldum shiny check and no shiny. Okay, and we just did a Larvitar raid and now we're gonna do a shiny check. No shiny on that one. I think that's a 2018 shiny, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been a while since I've gotten a shiny Larvitar. Okay guys, so we actually found a Dratini raid and this is the first one that I've seen today. So I'm gonna try to get a shiny Dratini. That would be a really cool 2018 shiny to get because I haven't gotten one since last year's recap event. So it'd be cool to get another shiny Dratini. I always love the pink shinies. And guys, I actually wanted to mention something really funny. So me and T-Slayers actually decided to change our challenge times. Instead of doing 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., which is seven hours, we decided to do 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So that's like a three hour window and we're gonna see who can get more shinies in that window. We basically changed our minds because it seems like the shiny rates aren't really as high right now as they usually are on community day. It's a little bit lower odds, or at least it seems that way. So we don't wanna be hunting for seven straight hours and barely getting any shinies. And it's also cold out too, so we're both kinda of like little babies, I guess. <laughs> and we wanted to just do a three hour challenge. So I'm gonna play till 5 p.m. and see how many shinies I get. That's what you guys are gonna see in this video. And uh, I'm still gonna play outside of that window. Uh, those shinies just won't count towards mine and T-Slayer's challenge. I hope that makes sense. But anyways, now let's do a shiny check on Dratini. And no shiny on that. I would love to get another one of those. But anyways, yeah, so uh, we gotta go till 5 p.m. see how many shinies we can get. And we have two so far and we have like an hour and a half left. So let's see how we do. Okay guys, so now we're gonna drive through some parking lots and get some cluster spawns and see what we can find. Hopefully we can get another shiny. Uh, like I said, we have an hour and a half left and we've only gotten two shinies. Usually on a regular community day, I have more than that. 
So, like I said before, I'm starting to think that the shiny odds are a little bit worse than a typical community day. But that does make sense for this being a 12 hour event. It lasts from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, I can see why they would make the shiny rates a little bit lower. And I think that was actually the case with December community day in 2018 as well. So, I should have been expecting this, but for some reason I forgot about it. And we have a Chimchar shiny check. Whoa, lots of speed bumps in this parking lot. Holy moly. <laughs> so now we're doing a Mareep raid and Mareep Community Day was so long ago, guys. That was one of the first community days we ever had. And I actually remember that was one of my worst community days because I only got two shiny Mareep. So I actually need to finish the collection for all the evolutions and get another shiny Mareep. So maybe I'll do that today. I didn't get it last year for the recap event. So that would be amazing. I actually don't even have a shiny Flaffy because of that. And I like to have the shiny living decks in Pokemon Go, especially for the community day Pokemon. So let's go ahead and do a Mareep shiny check. And no shiny on that, but I am determined to get that shiny throughout this event. Hopefully I do get one. And we just did a Larvitar raid. Now we're gonna do a Larvitar shiny check. And no shiny on that one. Guys, we're almost done with this event. We have about 40 minutes left and I've only gotten two shinies. So I don't know if we're gonna do very good for this shiny challenge. Like I said before, it seems like the shiny rates aren't as good as a typical community day. So two may be all I get. I really am curious to see how T-Slayers is gonna do in his shiny challenge. So go subscribe to his channel so you guys can see his challenge too. I don't know if he's gonna be live streaming it or vlogging it, but you guys are gonna see it somehow probably. So. Uh, I'm curious to see how he does. I've only gotten two so far. We still have some time. I'm hoping to get at least one more shiny, but we haven't really had much luck for the past hour. Okay guys, so it's currently 4.53 p.m. right now. It's almost 5 p.m. and the challenge is almost over and we've only got two shinies. So I'm going to shiny check this Beldum right here. We just did a Beldum raid. And let's see if I can get a last minute shiny. And no shiny on that one. But guys, like I said, the event's almost over. We have had no luck for the past like almost two hours. It's pretty crazy. We got the first two shinies really fast but now we haven't had any luck. So we have like seven minutes to go. Let's do one last shiny check loop around town and see if we can get lucky. And we got a Torchic check. No shiny on that one. I think we have a Totodile over here. Barely sniped that one. No shiny on that. And we have a Swine Up. Come on, shiny. No shiny on that one. Dang it. I want the beautiful watermelon pig. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen it in the game. Like I said, I had a horrible Swine Up community day. And no more community day spawns right here. Guys, we're running out of time. I don't know if we're going to get that last minute shiny or not. And we have a Slack Off shiny check. No shiny on that. Come on, dude. We only have a few more minutes left, guys. It's not looking very good, though. I don't think we're going to get that shiny. Okay, guys. So, the shiny challenge is officially over. I guess we're going to see tomorrow if T-Slayers can beat my shiny record of two shinies. I feel like he's going to beat me. Two is really bad. So, we got the shiny Ralt and we got a shiny Chimchar. I guess I'm okay with those results. I really want to try tomorrow to get some more shinies or maybe tonight as well. But if you guys didn't know, um, I don't think I even mentioned this at all. I was doing my shiny challenge today and then tomorrow T Slayers is going to be doing his. So you probably won't see his video or live stream of his challenge until like the day after tomorrow. So just keep that in mind. But anyways guys, I guess that's all I have for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!